Hi there, Michelle with Crafty Servings and Cash hiding under the table. So we're going to make a really, um, I think it's going to be a really cute angel that I've had in my head. Um, where it's going to be a little bit rustic um, and we're just going to figure it out on live here. So we've got, you want to see what I'm using? I'm using this board. This board is from Hobby Lobby. It comes in, I think it's a three pack, either a three, four or five pack. I don't even remember, but they're actually pretty reasonable. Um, they're probably about a quarter inch. They look pretty rustic. You're not going to see all of this board, but you're going to see some of it when we're done. I've got two just cut out stars. I just thought, because I'm going to have a little extra space on the board, so I need something, something as a filler. And what better as a filler with angels as stars, right? But you can get creative on that. No, you can't forget to say hi to Cash. All right, and we're going to use one of these circles. Now, this circle was part of a garland I got. So we've got that. We're also using some leaves. We're using... Let's get these out. I have had these a long time. Can you tell they're they're a little bit wimpy? They're gonna be perfect for this angel. So I get these at Hobby Lobby a lot because I use I you can cut these apart and I use them like that. I also have these. I think we only maybe will need one. We'll see. All right. And then I've got some fabric here, some raffia. Um also have this I'm not sure if I'm going to use anything from it this is also a Hobby Lobby okay I always pull off I cut off these little wire tendrils these leaves that you know these little viney little leaves that might be really good so um that's that's everything we use besides there'll be just a little bit added in but those are our main components that we're going to do to do this angel that I have wanted to do for a while and just haven't haven't done it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to take this. Now I got to find. I'm going to take the circle. And I'm going to stain it a little bit. Now I'm using these water wipes to stain it, only because I don't want a dark stain. If I put a dark stain on here, I feel like it's going to. Um, blend in too much with the board okay so I just want a, a light stain and these water wipes will do that even baby wipes will do that um, these water wipes I love these they're my my favorite to use you get them in the baby section they're called water wipes they don't have any oil so I can use them on my stencils I'm just going to put now this is deco art oak gel stain Use whatever you have. I'm just going to rub it on here. And by rubbing it on here with this wet wipe, it doesn't get as dark as what it would be um, if you would brush it on. And I'm going to get a lot of that off. Like I said, I don't want it to blend in too much. with this board because then it, it'll be lost and you don't want you don't want it lost i always use my blush whatever kind of blush you have and i want pink um i just think it'll be cute because i'm not putting anything else on here and i'm just i normally use a paintbrush and but i've got this also in my paint stash and i thought being bigger and if i if i put it all the way down it's going to be softer so i'm just going to have that up a little bit and look at how cute those cheeks are now if you don't dry this it's going to be sort of splotchy for your cheeks so you definitely want to dry it before you do it and this is all i'm doing to the face i'm not putting 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 any kind of face on it this is going to be quick and easy and cute all right got that I have these stars and I think I'm going to paint them. I am going to stain them too. I should have should have got, cut my rag out here. Let's stain them a little bit, but I do want them a little darker, so I don't want to wipe off as much. I'm just not wiping off as much 
because I'm going to paint over this too. All right, these leaves are from Hobby Lobby um, in the fall section. They're regular $2.99. Um, I don't even know how much they're on sale for now. If they're down to 65% or... This is going to be her dress. And I'm probably going to add a little bit of um, raffia in between here possibly so we're just going to wire this together already um let's see do i want to wire or tie it the other option is stapling yeah i do have to cut off this one we're going to use my muscles today see how far we get oh that was easy i'm getting stronger <laughs> all right it's gonna go on like this and this is gonna be her head all right are you are you seeing it are you seeing what I see all right I think you know what we're gonna just staple this okay the other thing we're gonna wire on and we might do that we'll probably do that at the end these are her wings so um, Let's go ahead and put this on. This I think we've got to do with glue. And don't worry about the holes. We're covering them up. This was part of a garland, whatever kind of circle you have. So I think that's going to stay on there. Well, let's go ahead and get these stars painted now that they're almost dry. We're going to let this, we're going to set this aside. We're going to paint these a little bit. Now I debated... Um, but I think I really like the idea of this um, marigold. It's deco art marigold. I All right, and those are gonna be going up on the top for that extra that we've got. All right, let's get this out of the way, out of the way, and then let's go ahead and make a bow. I got these two fabrics. I also have, I have a big roll of Christmas ribbon. Got it from Kirkland's. I think this is going to look really nice in there. It's a nice size. So we're going to use that as a background. We're going to use some raffia, I think, on it. Um, I do want to see. What my thought was is we might end up putting a little bit of raffia in between here in places. So we're just adding that little bit in there. We're going to put one more up in here, I think. All right, so let's finish putting the raffia in here. I think this will be the last one. I don't want a lot. Be careful using your hot glue gun when you're doing that, that your fingers aren't in it. Okay, I think that's that looks really, really cute in there. So we're going to go with that. And then let's do, we're going to do a bow. I'm going to have this as the background of it. And it's going to be a pretty cute, nice bowl. Do I want three of them? Maybe. Okay, then we've got this homespun fabric here. Let me figure out the best way to cut it. I'm going to do a little bit wider strips. And let's do this one. All right, so let's do that. Let's do that. Because the orange doesn't completely match, which, you know me, I don't always do matchy-matchy either. But let's do this. Now let's get these orange. And there's going to be more on here. And there's going to be a button on here, right? There's going to be a button. Surprise. All right. All right, and this is going to go on like this. I feel like this hat or the head has to be adhered a little more. So that's going to go like that. Um, I'm going to add a little more glue behind that hat or behind the head. See if I can't drip it down there. It's not dripping down there. 
Let's put some under here. You're not going to see it. I don't want I don't want the head to go anywhere after we have it all together though. All right. Let's do let's see. Let's see if we're going to do a little bit of raffia in the back of this bowl though, too. And we might add a little bit of green little green vines. All right. All right, let's see. I'm probably going to I got so much raffia here. Let's put that back. All right, let's do a big let's let's do sort of a messy messy raffia. Yeah. That's my messy raffia bowl. If you haven't seen, and I'm going to take another piece and just tie it up. Or this is the piece that I broke off on that paper. Tie that up. Like that. Really, really pretty messy behind there, and we'll cut a little of that off. So we're going to put that behind yet. You can see, it. so we got that. Um, find my scissor and just trim that piece off there. And you could tie that on if you want, but it'll work just fine with glue. I wasn't sure how what I was going to do, so that's why I just have it separate. Again, we might add a little bit of green in here. Okay. And let's see. We've got button, button. I think we need a big button on this one, don't we? Let's just add this button in here. Now, if you don't like the way your um, glue off of there. If you don't like the way your bowl lays, just add a little hot glue behind different places. But I'm really liking how it lays. I don't think I have to do that at all. Let's turn that one over that way. I don't think I have to do that at all. So the other thing on here that I could add, um, and let's we'll do that after, is maybe a little green. But we're gonna do that. Okay, let's, um, we're gonna do the wings last, I think, because I'm not gonna have room to do everything after so okay i've got this wheat from hobby lobby uh 2.99 fall section again so it's on sale we'll see how tough i am cutting this off if we just even just lay it on like that I think that'll be good. I think we can glue this down on there like that. Okay, we'll we'll definitely play with that a little bit, but I think it's gonna work now that the glue is drying. All right, so that's her halo. This is, this is her bow. Let's go ahead and put that on. And then we'll flip it over and put the wings on. Maybe add a little greens in here. We'll see. Add the stars on. Let's do that right away. While this is drying, I'll just keep going back to it. So I painted these stars just because I had that extra space on the top. Put them on there. Mm -hmm. 
let's get the stuff out of the way and we're going to get the wings on. Even if you don't want her an angel, she could still turn out pretty cute this way. All right, these are our wings. Hobby Lobby. So these definitely will be, we're going to wire and probably glue. We've got two of them here and they've been sitting in a bucket for a long time. So that's why they're like this, but which works for this. So make sure you have them, if, if they have a twist to them, like a turn down on them, make sure you um, get that, put them the right way. We can cut it right at that base then. We'll see how tough I am on this though. I'm done. I'm done with that. Let's just bend this down until I can really get that cut off because we're going to wire it on anyhow. <laughs> And, you know, honestly, I can wire, I can staple it to that. All right, so let me just see. We're going to do one at a time. Let me just see where we're at. I do it like that. We're going to bring it right over to almost that end here. But, you know, I may end up just leaving it just like this because I think it's going to hold just fine with this glue. All right. And I really think we're, we're done. Um, I do need to put a little up here to hold this in place. I think we're done. Let me just look. Let me look to see if it's how I pictured. She is cute. Let's, okay, we need to cut this piece here. I think she's adorable. All right, let's hold her back. What do you think? Do you like her? I think she turned out adorable and it was so easy so board was hobby lobby the stars were um i just cut, had them cut on my laser they were just extra leaves were hobby lobby fabric was probably hobby lobby i'm not sure um raffia the wheat is hobby lobby it honestly honestly was um mostly hobby lobby this was hobby lobby the the wings so let me see if I can hold it back a little bit. There we go. Is that better? 